In this demonstration, I'm going to take a look at how we can create this inlaid logo within ArtCam Pro. This can also be done within Insignia and with Express. This logo, this sign, consists of two parts, a male section and a female section. First thing we'll create will be this female section here, and we can see that it consists of a step down which allows the male piece to fit into it seamlessly. If we just hide the female section and show the male section, we can see the top side is nice and flat, but the underside has a step. Now this step allows it to fit into the female side. Now we're going to switch over to see how we can create this. So with this open, we can see we have our vectors already created for us. This is a logo that I've just imported. I've also created the male side as well. Now the male side is just a mirrored image of the female side. Now I'm going to select all of this and come to my toolpaths tab. From my toolpaths tab, I have an inlay wizard tool and it allows me to say whether I'm doing the female section or the male section and what type I would like as well of inlay. So whether it's a pocket, straight through hole, stepped pocket or a stepped hole. In this instance, I'm going to use a stepped hole. And in this section here, I can then put in different values. So the finish depth, I'm going to select as five millimeters so I'm going to set my material up to be five millimeters as well and then I can start to put in shoulder depth dimensions so the depth here so this will be the depth down of the step itself so I'm going to type in 2.5 millimeters so it's only going to be half of the actual thickness itself and then the width is the S so now I'm going to type in 1.5 millimeters. So only a thin one, just a thin ridge for it to clip into nicely. Then I'm going to select a tool. I'm going to select a 2 mil end mill tool. And then I'm going to calculate this. So if we view this in the 3D view, and then simulate this, we'll be able to see this much clearer what is happening. So what we'll see is that the centerpiece will just fall out and all we'll be left with is this step down here to the bottom of the material and anything else within this will just drop out of the model itself. So that's the creation of our female inlay. It's a very quick and very simple to use using the wizard. Now we'll look at how we can create the male part. So I'm going to turn the female vector off and turn the male one on. So as I said, this has been done in reverse. The reason for this is because it needs to clip into quite cleanly the female piece. I'm now going to go back and open the inlay wizard, select everything, and then because I did a stepped female version, I need to do a stepped male, and then the finish depth will be exactly the same, and we'll do exactly the same figures matching up with the female section. Again, we'll use that 2 mil end mil tool, and again, I'll calculate this. So again, we'll take a look at it within the 3D view. We'll reset our simulation and then just re-simulate it with the male version. So if we just zoom in to look at that, we'll be able to see exactly the same with the text here. So this is one of the, the Fool's logo parts. Steps down here goes in there so when we flip that over and reverse it it will fit nicely into our female section so in this demonstration you've seen 
how quickly and easily using ArcCam's inlay wizard we could create an inlay using different materials, different ways to do the inlays, whether it's a full pocket, whether it's a step down pocket, whether it's a straight cut through. And we can use the tools to actually create very nice effect of an inlay. Now this can be done, as said, within ArcCam Pro, ArcCam Insignia and ArcCam Express.